Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number seven of my Chelsea career. Today, we have a home match against Sunderland. It's probably a very important match. Well, no doubt it is because we're 10th right now. We had two 1-0 losses against Everton as Man City, you know. Uh, so that kind of left us at the bottom. But you know, at the start of the season, if you drop a couple results, uh, it kind of looks a bit like, more worse than it actually is like Man City. Uh, you would imagine myself and Man City will slowly go up the table. So that's the current situation we are in. And yeah, coming off some very good results, uh, scoring four goals, uh, last two games score four goals. So we definitely our goal scoring uh, has been very good. And to be honest, the Everton and Man City games, uh, yeah, we just couldn't score. That was the problem. I'm playing on attacking philosophy. I, I just couldn't score. That was the problem. We only conceded one goal. So uh, it's looking pretty good if you ask me. A Man City away, only conceding one. That's pretty good because you know they're hard to beat, especially like from FM 2013 as well. And they have a similar team. So, today, I'll be going in. I'm going to be doing most matches, because to me, I don't see the the need to rush. Like, I don't see it realistic. If I wanted to, I could finish the first season before the actual game is out, and I find that unrealistic for me. And, yeah, it's like there's still... It's like on the better. I might go um, after the better, like, when, when the actual game is out, I might play it through it more. But if you enjoy this, leave in your comments. If you enjoy seeing every match, um, it's more realistic, if you ask me anyway. And I could do heaps of videos, so I thought I might as well. So the good thing now, our morale is very good. You think it's because my recent results are good? You think because we're 10th, you think the morale wouldn't be good. But if you look at it in this light, we've won the last three games in a row against Bayern Munich. Uh, the Bayern Munich definitely uh, lifted up in the last two wins. Uh, four goals, it definitely goes up with that. So we're in a uh, just a classic position right now to continue to win matches because of the morale uh, is really good. But we've got Lampard injured and Bertrand as well. So we're kind of... Uh, we don't have much options at left back at least. Ashley Cole is playing very good. Our fullbacks are playing excellently. Cole, a very good rating. Bertrand's doing very well. I'm not sure if you notice as well, but defenders seem to get very high ratings. I suppose it's a clean sheets um, as well. Well, I haven't even got much clean sheets. So yeah, I'm not sure what it is. Leave your comments if you know. Uh, but yeah, defenders ratings seem really high. Maybe they lift it more to more a deservingly factor and not just for players that score goals. But yeah, that's my opinion. Ramirez, he still, I think he's not, yeah, he still needs more match fitness. So I'm going to leave him in so he can actually get that. Masaccio might give him an appearance. Actually, I'm going to put him in this match because we're just playing Sunderland. We should win because no doubt he's part of the future. He's only what? He's 23. So that's still very young and he's a he's a very solid player. So he could form a partnership with David Luiz. Uh, John Terry out there as well. Uh, we have some uh, very good options if you ask me. Um, hmm, Ivanovic, yeah, I'll keep Ivanovic uh, for, to come off the bench. I think that's a very important factor for me. you got Gary Cahill as well. So we've got a really, we've got strong options. Uh, Gudetti still, I'm still giving him under 21 appearances uh, because, yeah, he still needs to uh, get the match fitness up. So I'm going to wait for that because for now we've got, if you look at my strikers, you got, if you have Schurler starting, actually I'm going to oh yeah, put Bar back even though Schurler's done well. Um... Actually, I'll give... Yeah, shirley has got superb morale. That's why I always will favour players with superb morale. So that will be... Uh, that will be what I will go with. Apart from now, I'm going to take De Bruyne off and I'm going to... Uh, Dugetti? Du, uh, I don't know why I said Dugetti, but anyway. I'll put Gudetti in case... Like, say if we're winning by a few goals, I might as well put him on. But if we need to score, I might bring on Shirley. We'll just see the situation of the match. So obviously, I'll probably have to give Gudetti a uh, squad number now. Number nine. Perfect coming in for Torres. Uh, he could be the future number nine, uh, depending how he develops. In the future, we'll have him and Lukaku as the main two strikers. Uh, that looks pretty strong, if you ask me. Because, you know, as Bar, he's Bar's a bit older, to be honest. He's like 29. He'll be getting to that age next season. And then 30, that following season. So you definitely have to be wary of that. So moving to the next match. And hopefully, we can get a positive result. You would really be expecting to win against Sunderland. And yeah, that's I expect probably to score a couple goals as well. And of course, you can see with Sunderland, they've conceded the most goals. They've scored four, but conceded 12 in four matches. That's uh, that's very bad for them defensively. So we should move on. I'll do my general uh, team tactics, the opposition instructions on the all attacking players, apart from the striker, like the wingers. The wingers is the main one I do it for. Uh, so tight marking always and show on to the weaker foot. And I'll continue uh, with that. I'll do, what should we do? Passionate and or assertive. I think assertive and say, I expect nothing but a win from this match. 
And that's the truth. That's we're against Sunderland. They've conceded twelve goals already, uh, so that's like average conceding three goals every match. So I would expect the same from my team. Okay, now it showed my high. Maybe it's only for the home matches when it shows your ratings, the ratings of the home team. I uh, don't know. Okay, Ashley Cole picking up another early yellow card. He did in previous games, I remember. So that's uh, he got something to work on. But Dava Louise again, can he score from a free kick? Or this time he sets it up. And Ramirez finishes. But it won't count. It was offside. I did not notice that was offside. That was um, very disappointing. I thought that was a goal. But normally when you notice, it's just from, yeah, in play. But uh, yeah, it's not too disappointing. I would want to score in play anyway. You don't want to score just a goal from a set piece. You definitely want to have a convincing performance uh, with your play in the game. That's, But obviously, some teams, that's part of their attack. And that is... Ours definitely, especially from throw-ins with David Luiz. He's definitely one of those. Uh, Chirondolo going on the attack for Sunderland. Adam Johnson, uh, we have to contain him well. He really should have intercepted that. But then David Luiz coming in, uh, really, uh, he's been very positive as a centre-back. And going into the attack, what a ball. Bah, wow, he should have really finished that. But that's what exactly I mean by David Luiz. He just popped up and uh, created a fantastic chance. And Bah, to be honest... He should have really finished from that range after the fantastic setup by David Luiz from in defense with the long ball. Ramirez looking very comfortable on the ball. Uh, Marta as well. He's been a fantastic player for us. Running at the defense. Penalty. Or Bar finish. Another chance. Whew. Bar's having chances, but he isn't really finishing, which I'm surprised because he's on good goal on, on form right now. So that is uh, pretty surprising uh, if you ask me and if I'm being honest. Uh, so here, Commons again gets on the ball. Uh, really needs to make an interception here uh, because he's very dangerous the ball at his feet. But it was, yeah, it was really easily intercepted by a defense. And you can see uh, John obi McCall is definitely up for this game. He's motivated, uh, playing well with the highest rating so far. Um, just in that anchor man position. That he suits that to a T. He's got strength, fantastic tackling and intercepting ability. But here, another injury. And now it's for Oscar. But we can easily make a fairly easy change here. Bring on Willian and... Did he come on, or did I not do it properly? Uh, there you go, William. But for me, he's better on the right side, and I prefer Martha to come out there. So if you see William, what's his natural... He's natural as an attacking midfielder. So, But he's got very good dribbling. For me, he's been very good in wide positions. So obviously, uh, maybe he's what we need in this match. I'll take the pressure off. Yeah, I really need to stop doing that. It's like really doesn't work in this game. It always says demotivated. Because uh, it was very good in FM 2013. That's why I always do it. But i got to learn it's not as good. It doesn't work anymore. I have to look for other team talks for my players and the overall team talk as well. Um, so, yeah, that's pretty disappointing, especially as we had a disallowed goal and Barr has had a few chances. And I'm just going to say I'm far from pleased, but that still works as a positive team talk. Uh, you think they'll come in, hope, at least hopefully, uh, in the second half and come out, uh, do well. At least, as I said, I'm in hope of that. And Eto is definitely there if we need to make a if we need to make a sub. But last time Bar was playing bad, he came in and got a header. So it goes both ways, really. Like like good strikers, they can get a goal at any time. So here is that another, now Cole got injured. Wow, I'm not sure if anyone else noticed injuries, but it's really bad at the moment. Bring Ivanovic on, and Bar is playing uh, not up to scratch really. So Bar's going to go off for Eto. Eto needs a chance. He's got pretty good morale. Uh, Ivanovic to say, show me what you've got. Does that work well? Okay, I'll do that. I'll do that for Eto as well. So I want to see a good performance from him. He seems deep in thought as well. And Eto comes on as the captain. So hopefully Samuel Eto, he comes in for a, a very big signing uh, for this season for Chelsea. And he's of a high quality, very good goal scorer. So let's see uh, if he can do that for us. We're on attacking. We can't go more attacking than this, uh, to be honest. But this could be one of those board draw matches unless there's going to be something at the end of the match. But it's been a very poor match, if I'm being honest. It was, uh, to be honest, I'm thinking in my head, like, this is very disappointing to show, and I almost might stop it, but I don't see. I'm um, not very... That was not good enough for my team. I'm actually... I'm going to go into another match, because that was really poor. We dominated, but we couldn't... That bar should have at least finished one of the chances. We had 17 shots, but no goals. How about clear-cut chances? Two clear-cut chances, no goals. 
Uh, that is really disappointing. And I'm just going to go straight into the Capital One Cup against uh, Newcastle because that is a very disappointing result. We should, for having seven, think about it, 17 shots and five on target as well. A disallowed goal early in the match. I thought it wouldn't have... It wouldn't have really made an impact, but in the at the end of the day, it actually did, and that's disappointing. I uh, see some other results here. Crystal Paris winning uh, against Norwich, uh, Wallace scoring. Uh, yeah, Southampton also, they pick up a win against West Ham, 2-1. Uh, some other results. I'm, I'm really liking how it shows here. I think it's better, like, they just go down, down, down like that. Uh, yeah, that's just my opinion on it. As we see all these results on today, uh, as it hits, yeah, taking quite some time. But yeah, as I said, it's a really, it's a big, big disappointing result against Sunderland. Like Sunderland, they're last, well, not last, but you know, near the bottom. They conceded heaps of goals so far, 12, and we couldn't score. And we're definitely looking uh, to go up the leaderboard. I'm just going to browse because this is taking too long. So I might as well leave the match. And it's still loading like this. Can I browse? Or oh, aren't you allowed to leave the match? Who knows? Anyway, let's see. Here's the... Yeah, I guess I can continue on now. Six messages, seven now. Six, three. Look at that. My under-18s just dominate with this tactic. But my first team can't able... They're not able to finish. Uh, that's really the problem. Two injuries doesn't help uh, to the cause, but that was not the problem, really. Cole getting injured doesn't really, it didn't really affect uh, his defender. But Oscar, um, we have same level, if not better players than Oscar in the team. So that shouldn't be really a concern if you ask me, if I'm being honest. Uh, Chelsea lose key man. Ashley Cole, it's a, it's falling to pieces now. Ashley Cole injured, Bertrand injured as well. So it's just, it's gone from bad to worse. But luckily, just a couple to one cup match. And I believe we have some easier league matches uh, to come. So we'll just see what I'll do from that. I might play a couple. Yeah, I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to do it, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. So here, Pellegrini reacts to controversy. And that's why I wouldn't play through like this, because this loading part probably takes a little bit longer than I would, like, would do. But if I get a nil-nil result and I do it live, I definitely want to do another one to yeah, to show that, to show a bit more. See, Everton losing, dropping points. Uh, Stoke, Crouch has been a mate. First, I want to see how much goals Crouch has got. He's absolutely been... I think he's he's overpowered. He's got seven goals in five games. His attributes are probably better than they should be, but uh, mental attributes are really good, and they're really coming to the floor uh, to, show, yeah, to show the goals for Stoke City, and they do really well. Uh, in my simulation, I did... Uh, you see Stoke, they're fifth. So they have... They've had a great start to the season. So we've got West Brom uh, in the next match. I might do that. I'll just see. Yeah, I'll just see how it goes, I guess. Okay. Hopefully we can move into the match against... Some people don't regard as Capital One Cup as much importance, but I do. Every cup, I want to... When you're in a cup, you want to win it. Like, I don't like losing these cup matches, especially a yeah, football manager when you actually... It's more about tactics than that. Not like FIFA when... Yeah, I, I know. I don't have words on FIFA at the moment. Uh, so at least at least while this loading things it shows hits and tips they're always uh, very good to see and okay Torres demands more from what, 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 Torres no one cares I told you you're not supposed to talk about our team anymore I don't really care what Torres says uh, he's playing at Man City he went to Man City and hasn't even played a game yet he's wasting away not even playing so I think Torres should focus on his own football for now um, okay uh, Eto he scored well he didn't score in the reserve but he's got that appearances he's need but that's our problem right now. I put Eto on, but he's still recovering from his injury. He's not 100% fit, so that was the problem we had. But today, uh, well, the next match today, uh, we'll move against Newcastle at home. And I suppose the positive sign, we didn't concede a goal. Uh, that's a good thing. Last two matches haven't conceded and scored four times. But injuries are so bad right now. But I just have to wait till my tactic is fully fluid. And then I'm going to focus on fitness in training. That's all I can do, I guess. Villian will come in. I'm going to try him as attacking midfielder. See what, not Marta. I have to put Marta there. Marta just excels in that kind of position, in my opinion. But Oscar come in for... Mm, see, my defending was okay, but Masaccio is obviously not fit enough, so maybe we'll bring in definitely Terry. Terry is the man to come in. David Luiz definitely needs a rest. Uh, give Gary Cahill a chance. Cole, this is bad, but we'll just bring in Ivanovic. And this is why I teach 
Okay, not Shirla Ivanovich, I said. That's why I teach... Some people said uh, it do, it makes your attributes not grow as much for players, but this is the situation. Exactly perfect reason why I'm teaching Ivanovich to play left back. We need that third. You definitely need three. That's my opinion. You need three players. Or yeah, you need three cover for each position. Because if, if you don't have that, it's going to be bad. Like the situation you see here. Uh, anyone of notes I can bring in for right back? Actually, Chalaba maybe. I'm going to give Chalaba a gig at right back because uh, he can't play there. You see? Okay, he didn't come on for whatever reason. Chalaba, see, he's got that competent there. Obviously, I can't teach him to play everywhere, but I'm going to give him a gig there, see how he goes. Uh, anyway, you got William on that side. Bar as a striker, we don't have much other options, to be honest. Gudetti still coming, uh, getting his match fitness up along with Eto. And look at this, all these injuries. Van Ginkel playing reserve matches. Masaccio needs that as well. Um, yeah, that's the full team. So let's move into... Dada Ooh, Ramirez is a bit low. I think I'm going to give SEN or Chance or De Bruyne. Can De Bruyne play deep? What's his kind of attributes like? Uh, is he a decent... Seven tackling? I'm, I'm going to give him go as a deep line playmaker. See how he goes. Uh, let's just test him. This is... Uh, that's what you got to do early days with your tactics and your players. You've got to see how they play in certain positions. Obviously, he's attacking player. But, yeah, that's what we need from our team. So, they've got a very strong team. They're definitely not putting young players in. Uh, apart from Hadera at left back, the rest the rest of the team is uh, definitely uh, very good. Um, Hadera as well. Well, he's... Yeah, they definitely want to give him some experience. Only 20 years old. I like him as a player. He's a very good fullback. But here, all their attacking players, attacking midfielders... I'll do the same. It worked in the, the last match you saw. No goals conceded. So, and they didn't really have any chances as well. Uh, what should... The, team talks is very important. I'm going to have to go passionate and say we're favourites. Uh, tell them to impress me. No really green reactions, but still some positive, like listening keenly and listening passionately. So hopefully we can push on and get a result, especially nil-nil. If it's nil-nil again, I'm just going to be uh, too mad with that. Hazard play it in. Play it in. Or play it the other way for Mata. Oh my god. You can see we're creating chances, but the finishing ability is just not up to scratch in the last match against Sunderland, but also this match uh, so far. Like, Marta, you expect him to finish that, especially the attributes he has. Uh, one of the best players in the game uh, with, uh, yeah, because he had a very good season uh, in real life, so he got improved. So here, Terry uh, finds the ball for William out wide. You see, he always runs that, and that's my instructions as well, and it just suits... And he's got run down the left and right traits. So that's uh, fantastic. William, what can he do? He finds Chalaba coming from right back. Uh, gave it to Brunia. The Bruin dive. <laughs> uh, it's, no, it's a penalty. Well done. So here, will the penalty changing help? Will Hazard score? There we go. That's how you take a penalty, Lampard. Take a look. <laughs> take a more look at Hazard. That was a perfect penalty. That was so much power. It was never going to be saved. And that's how you finish penalties. And it might go into my consideration of penalty takers in the future. Look at that shot right there. Um, Hazard just went bang to the roof of the net. That was never going to be saved. Perfect penalty. Can't get any better. You can't get much better than that, to be honest, for Hazard. So Ivanovic playing at left back. A new position for him. Okay, now it's lagging a bit. Please. Yeah, just don't worry about that. That was just like a second bad thing for whatever reason. It could have been just the game. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't experience that yet. Ivanovic, he's doing okay at left back, so that's a good, yeah, definitely a good sign, that's what you need, versatile players, Hiamata, finish, no, Hazard this time, finish, no, no, I really noticed Hazard's been clearly one of our better players um, like for the season so far, not just this specific game, he scored, assisted, everything so far, uh, Mikel do something, uh, he just uh, picks up the free kick, uh, that's a good effort, so now uh, Marta with the free kick, what can he do, puts it in, and it was sprayed wide. It was never really convincing that free kick. Marta, he's had, he hasn't really been consistently good uh, so far this season. He's had uh, a couple good games where he scored or assisted, but other games he's not been convincing. And we're piling on the pressure here. That's really, uh, it's really positive to see, especially as we've made some rotations to the team, uh, especially more so in defense, like putting Chalaba right back and considering he's not amazing defensively, but going forward, obviously, um, he's a creative type. So that's very good. You've got to watch out for the Bucci. I might look to change tactics in a minute. But I want to keep attacking. I definitely want to go to get a... 1-0 um, is never a good result to me. 1-0 is so bad because then you concede. Uh, yeah, if you concede, you there's 
you should get an, you obviously need to get another goal. That is the facts you face. So here, De Bruyne, I do want to see how he goes in that center midfield role, I should say, as a deep line playmaker. Hazard, wow, Williams should have finished. That was really a poor header. That should have been a goal, really. Um, it was set up for him perfectly. And Papi Cissé is offside. Um, so if you like seeing these two, but the middle part is too long. I, I suppose you can say I could edit it out. I might do that, actually, to make it a bit shorter. And then, yeah, show two matches, possibly. We'll just see how it goes. If people like this, ba ba. Okay, what happened there? Went slow again. Maybe that <laughs> influenced that he missed. But ba. I don't know. He's had some really crucial competition. <laughs> chances. I'm not sure how I said competitions. Um, but anyway, yeah, he had really good chances to finish. And that definitely, the last two matches, oh, it's really disappointing. Especially when you have strikers that's not performing consistently. That's why I look for my st strikers, consistent performances, finishing when they have the chances to. But they're not really doing so. But I'll still say assertively that I'm happy and tell them to keep it up. Because you're winning. When you're winning, you want to say that just to keep the confidence up of your players, to keep them happy. And at the end of the day, that does actually help them play better. So, uh, moving into the second half, I'm still keeping on attacking. I can go back to control if I want, but I still want to keep on until I go two in front. Uh, so, Jonas Gutierrez, uh, he picks up a foul on De Bruyne. So, you got Chalaba. He's playing okay. Obviously, not as as good as, as Piloqueta was, but don't forget, it's just one match. And he's a very, very young player, only 18. That's a really... A uh, young age to be playing in uh, Premier League quality. And it's just going to benefit him and us, of course, in the future uh, when he turns into a world-class centre midfielder. And maybe this, playing in a defensive role, maybe it might help with his, it might aid his defensive uh, development, like his tackling and marking. But here they have a chance. Oh, fantastic save by Petacek. That was uh, just a world-class save, to be honest. I thought they were in on goal. And Papi Cissé, I think that was Cissé or whoever it was, I thought they were... Um, a shoe in to score there, Ivanovic. See, we've got some players in defense playing out of position, not their general position. So it's very good. And even De Bruyne, even uh, center midfielder, that's not really his natural position. And as, at least as a deep line, he's probably more attacking, like a center attacking mid or something. So we do have to be careful on this attack. Okay, it's happening really slowly. I'm not sure. Maybe I'm just, it happens when I record <laughs> uh, two matches in one. I'm not, yeah, not sure. Gutierrez, that is what I mean. That is why we need to finish our opportunities because Papa Cissé, he will definitely, he'll pay. He'll, when he gets a chance, he definitely will finish. Especially, well, I guess you can say that was an easy chance, but he just persisted and he gets it. Hmm. De Bruyne's actually playing really good in that role. Marta's playing horribly. Not sure why. It's just uh, one of those things that happen. Eto, uh, his fitness is not good enough because he probably just played a reserve match. Uh, Sen. Okay, I know what I'm going to do. I'm going to put Essie in there. And this is what you've got to change things up. Put De Bruyne um, as a, in that on guard troll as an AMC. Then bring Essie back and bring McCall into midfield because he's got, or at least center mid compared to as a center defensive mid. Uh, anyone else? Or oh, this is a good lineup for now. Yeah, I'll leave it that for now. Or, oh, yeah, yeah, it's still like 51 minutes only. Uh, Essie, and I'll just tell him I want to see a good performance tonight from him. And he seems deep in thought from that. So what I've heard from comments and the amount of times it happened, uh, that result, uh, it's a good yeah, it's a good result, <laughs> I hope anyway. So here, moving in. We need a win. That is, well, I don't, you, you want to win. Like it's Capital One Cup. It's not a disaster if you don't, but getting knocked out in the first game, like the first round of it is pretty disappointing, especially when you're playing, like you're playing your best players. But keep in mind, Newcastle is as well. They're not playing young players. Ivanovic coming in onto his uh, preferred right foot. He puts it in. Willian. Bar. Bar. Bar is actually... He scored some goals so far this season. Or a couple from headers which were easy to score. But he's been... He's been really disappointing in a lot of chances. A lot that are not headers. So another injury, I believe, this is. Uh, for Demba Bar. Which is really disappointing. I'm going to bring on Schurler. Schurler did well on the chance I gave him. So... I guess, yeah, Macal is losing com his condition. So, who can we bring in as a center midfielder? Ramirez? A Ramirez might be the guy to put in. Or maybe Eto. Actually, this is what I'm going to put Eto on. Not not that position, of course. But put him as a center attacking midfielder and see what he can do there. Just, just add something different to the team. 
Schurler. Um, let's see more of the same from him. He seemed deep in thought again. Eto as well. Uh, I just want to see a good performance from him, and then I'll be happy with that. Okay, he looks to switch off. That doesn't work for him, so yeah, whatever. Confirm changes, yep, let's go. Whew. It's We've had so many chances. I'm sure you're watching this, obviously. You can see the chances Barr has had. And in the end, he gets injured. I'm not really too happy with these injuries right now. I might have to turn down my training intensity, maybe just to medium from high. But um, yeah, it's pretty disappointing, if I'm being honest. And we used all subs. Yep, we used all subs, so I'll just leave it as is. And hopefully we can score a goal. Okay, De Bruyne from a uh, free kick from a set piece. Terry, another chance. But at least we win a corner, I guess. That's a positive sign. Now we have, who's this? De Bruyne. He's getting, he's had a very good game. He's probably been our best player. Well, clearly he's been uh, Schurler. And he did that. He could have turned and had a shot. Wow. Uh, Newcastle revert to their familiar style. See, I've been on attacking for the whole match and only scored once. We've, we've been very good defensively. And you see Eto picks up another knock. Uh, it's definitely, it's not a good sign. Now, SEN, what is with all these injuries? I'm not sure if it's just me or maybe, yeah. Wow. Now Ben Arthur has a chance. Defend it well. Okay, now we're on the counter. Shirla, cha camera change, please. There you go. Uh, Willian, get in. Okay, it's going slow again. Willian, put the ball in. Put it in. Hazard, he's been too good. He finishes in the 85th, and they think the goal was offside, but we've had so many offside goals so far, so I'm definitely... But look at injuries. Now Hydara for them picks up this. Has to be something with injuries in the game. But look at that Willian. He's been very controlled on the ball. Had so many options there. Hazard was there, just opened up the angle to like for the keeper. He was out of position, and he finished well. I might just keep it on attacking. and can't be self-changing it. It's at the end of the match anyway. Newcastle's going attacking, but there's six minutes extra time. Six minutes. I suppose the injuries are uh, deserved to that. But it doesn't look like there's going to be a goal. De Bruyne has been amazing uh, for centre midfielder in the deep-lying playmaker role for the majority of the match. Wow, look at the time. Look at the time. It's almost two minutes past the allotted time. So that's very disappointing to see. So surely it's over here. So that was a very positive performance at the end of the day. We... Ivanovic did really well, player of the match. That's a very nice victory. We won. It was uh, very good uh, to pick up a win there. You see, uh, 10 shots on target. We definitely probably deserve to score more. Look at that. Six clear-cut chances. Come on, really. Uh, I want to look more into stats. Who was the main culprits from this match of missing? Uh, so let's see. Look at that. Hazard, four shots on target. Scored twice. You've got to be happy with that. But look at this. Marta had four shots and only one on target as well. Very disappointing. But Ivanovic, in his non reperv left-back role, or pre preferred, I should say, uh, he did very well. So that's very good. Maybe we could go on a good cup run. Uh, people say, obviously, Capital One Cup is not the main competition you want to win. Uh, but it's still... You, you want to win those cup matches. It's very important. You still get money from winning that. So uh, that was very good. And yeah, I'll just leave it for here. Just see other wins. Cornelius uh, scoring twice against Burnley. Anyone else of note? Uh, Liverpool did well, but yeah, like I said, I'll leave it at that for now. Hopefully you enjoyed this episode. I'll leave your comments if you like too, but I probably won't do it more because yeah, it's probably too hard for me uh, to do too, like commentate good for that. Just one is my style. So uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. If you did, leave a like and I'll see you guys next time.